Okay, let's just review a few formulas that you need. Um, one thing is slope formula. So slope formula, if you remember, is, um, oops, sorry. If you remember, slope formula is this, m equals, we usually think of it as change in y over change in x, or y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 2 minus x sub 1. If two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. If two lines are perpendicular, their slopes are opposite reciprocals. So for example, if one slope has, um, if one line has a slope of like 2 sevenths, then a line parallel to it will have a slope of negative 7 halves. Midpoint formula. If you have two points on a line, forming a line segment, the midpoint of them is going to be the sum of the x's divided by 2, comma, and the sum of the y's. So the average of the x's and the average of the y's. Median, you know, is a segment that goes to the midpoint of an opposite side, and an altitude is perpendicular to the opposite side. And these both apply to triangles. So let's just do one or two problems just so that you're going to be okay with homework. So one problem might be this. Suppose you have the point A, which has coordinates 4, negative 6, and B, which has coordinates negative 2, negative 8, and you can look at where these are, right? 4, negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 6 is somewhere down here. B is going to be somewhere down here. So here's A, here's B. There are two things I could ask you to do. One, I could find the slope of the line between those two. So for, to find the slope, always label it so I know what you're doing. The slope is going to be change in y, so I'm going to do negative 6 minus negative 8 over change in x, 4 minus negative 2. So our slope is going to be negative 6 plus 8, obviously, over 4 plus 2. So that's going to give us a 2 on the top, a 6 on the bottom, and always reduce to the lowest form. So our slope is positive 1 third. Seems reasonable. The other thing I might want to do is find the midpoint of these. Let's call it x. So the coordinates of point x are going to be, well, I'm going to do 4 plus negative 2 over 2, comma, negative 6 plus negative 8 over 2, and then work that out. So 4 plus negative 2 is 2, divided by 2 is 1, right? So that's going to give me the ordered pair 1, and this is negative 14 over 2, so negative 7. Okay, one more example. You might have something like this. We might have, um, I'm going to plot something. Um, C has coordinates 1, 3. C is some point. Whoops. Let me do that right. Okay, so C is a point with coordinates 1, 3. F is a point up here with coordinates 4, 7. And E might be over here. And the coordinates of E are 8, 4. And here's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if this is right triangle. And I certainly can't tell it from my diagram. So let's just see if we have any perpendicular lines. So first, let me find the slope of, and again, look at how I'm labeling it, CF. The slope of CF, well, change in y, 7 minus 3 is 4. Change in x, 4 minus 1 is 3. So the slope of CF is 4 thirds. The slope of FE, okay, change in y over change in x, 7 minus 4 is 3. And 4 minus 8 happens to be negative 4. So I have opposite reciprocals, so I could say therefore CF is perpendicular to FE. Okay, so we know we have a right angle there. And one last example, I might have this triangle. A is this point over here with coordinates negative 2, 10. B is over here. Let's say B has coordinates negative 4, 3. These are just examples from your textbook. E is over here, and E has coordinates 6, 5. Okay, so I have this triangle. Maybe it's the right triangle. Maybe it's not. I have no idea yet. But I would like to find the slope of the altitude um, 
which is going to be AC. So if I have an altitude that we're calling AC, well, I know it has to start at A, and I know it has to be perpendicular to the opposite side, right? So AC is an altitude. Well, I don't know the coordinates of point C, so I can't use the slope formula, but I do know it's perpendicular. So I'm going to find the slope of AC by first finding the slope of segment BE. And the slope of segment BE, again, change in Y over change in X, change in Y, 5 minus 3 is 2. Change in X, 6 minus negative 4 is a 10, so the slope of BE is 1 fifth, and therefore I know the slope of the altitude. The slope of AC is going to be negative 5 over 1. The other thing I might need to do is to find the slope of the median. So AC is an altitude if I want to find the slope of the median to be E, and in fact we're going to call the median AD. AD is the median. So D is going to be somewhere over here, but in order to figure out where D is going to be, I need to figure out the coordinates. It's going to be a midpoint. So I'm going to take the average of the x values. So 6 plus negative 4 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. 5 plus 3 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. So D has coordinates 1, 4 right there. And now I just need to find the slope of segment AD. Again, change in y. 10 minus 4 is 6. Change in x. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, and I'm just going to reduce that so the slope of our median is negative 2. And there's your review. Thank you.